stress is overwhelming, but if I don't keep pace, the guy that's right behind me will step into my place. I may be at the bottom, but I've got my focus right on the top. Thank you. 
you here after the holidays. But you mean next week? No, I can't let you have the extra time off. But you promised. I said I'd consider it. If I had my way, you'd come in here tomorrow. But I can't force you to work on a national holiday. However, it would be a great help if you would. Miss Grimshaw! I will not work on Christmas Day. As I said, I can't force you. I have a family. And I have a responsibility to the stockholders of this company. I'm not saying you should abandon your family. But you have to start thinking about your career. And I'm not threatening your job. You're a competent worker. What I'm saying is you lack the drive and ambition it takes to succeed in this hostile business world, especially as a woman. If you're going to make it in this corporate rat race, you'll have to learn the secrets of the trade. You'll never get ahead by wearing high heels and lace. Don't forget it was by the Keep 
have any trouble here. All you gotta do is sign that form, I'll be on my way. I said get out, you idiot! Oh, I'll leave, I'll leave my house. Get out! <laughs> Fair and legal, wake up. Fair and legal. I'm sorry to bother you again, Miss Crenshaw. What is the meaning of this? I told you I didn't request anything from you or your whatever it was. Uh, yes ma'am, uh, the request did not originate with the intended recipient. It's all there in the work order. Yeah, according to section 20, paragraph 5, part 16 of the ERC, uh, Eternal Revised Code, any righteous individual can request... Oh, this is nonsense! Uh, Let me speak to your manager this instant. Oh, you mean the, su the supervisor of petitions and treaties and referendums? The sofa dopa? No. <laughs> yeah, he's a super duper sofa dopa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but like I was saying, uh, we got really busy, so your case was assigned to me. Hey, I know, I know I'm just a junior agent, but I can assure you I have full Ellen, authority call security. Ellen! Yeah, yeah. Hello, security? <laughs> Hello! There was me snapped out of it until they get rid of this lunatic. Yeah, uh, she can't hear you. Yeah, I think she's on the wrong channel. <laughs> yeah, you know, channel, channel, and get it? <laughs> now, I'm sorry, but we had to temporarily suspend external access. Would you please just explain to me who you are in plain English? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Well, uh, I'm an angel. <laughs> what? You're expecting maybe Dolores? <laughs>
know what this is all about. Oh, I guess it is a little difficult to explain. Well, let me sum it up for you. You've messed up your life. <laughs> you are heading down a very dangerous path. Your case has been remanded to Lacklock, the Bureau of Last Chances and Lost Causes. <laughs> Lacklock got a work order from a Dover agent. They forwarded it on to Bet Dot for a no hat. Bet Dot? Ah, that's my division. Been there, done that. <laughs> <laughs>
traveling, passing through walls, the whole bit. Now it's all video and satellite links, and virtual reality. I suppose it saves time. <laughs> That's me. Where did you go? Oh, now we can skip through the four minute years. <laughs> ah, yes, here we are. But, Mom, I don't want to play with Bobby. Now, Carol, darling, girls don't play ice hockey. You know that. You stay here with me and bake some Christmas cookies. You'll make a great little homemaker someday. Hey, baby, give me another beer out of the fridge, would you? <laughs> Go ahead, get your father a beer. But, Mom, you have already had to have... You heard me. Go on. Yeah. And we'll hire Nanny to help with the kids, and I'll be homeless 
start a weekend. Yeah, 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 you yeah, you I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You deserve it. And it's only six months. But it wasn't just six months. One of the VPs at home office had a heart attack. He needed a temporary replacement. I was there. And then? They offered me the job. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking I sacrificed my family and my marriage for my career. But well, we were having problems long before I left. We thought having children would make things better. But it didn't. I was never much of a mother anyway. And Joanne, I mean, the, she's their mother, their stepmother. She's wonderful for them. So stop condemning me! Dear child, I have never condemned you. I am only here to show you the beautiful <coughs> moments in your life. There will be others after me to help you understand the rest. You should get some sleep now. You have a very long night ahead of you. Uh, the 
children. They've grown. I haven't seen them in a while. So what's that bring our total count to now? The 47. 47? Ooh, that's 10 more than last year. We could barely fit everyone in there. We're going to have to think of some way of trimming the list a bit. Um, Jason, how many have you got? Same as last year. Oh, good, fine. Um, Jim? Six. And I'm not getting a single one. We haven't seen each other since we went for college. Okay, okay. We'll find some way of working everyone in. You should take her off. She never comes anywhere. Now, Jen, you know your mother. She's not my mother. She's just some lady who has her secretaries and birthday cards and Christmas presents. No, she's off for the day for school. Right. As long as I do what she wants, I'm going to study theater and music, not business. Next year she comes to get me a jet ski. Now, hold on. We haven't discussed that yet. Well, I'm not going to be bribed. Maybe you were too young, but I remember what she did. I remember when she left. Now, hon, I know that you're hurt, but you're going to have to learn to forgive before I eat you up inside. All we can do is to love her and pray for her. Well, your mother. She's not my mother. Why do you keep calling her that? I hate her and I'll never forgive her. She can drop dead for all I care. And now, honey.
Would you like to know the future? Like to have your fortune told? Would you like to see a glimpse of what you'll be like when you're old? The future is a story that has yet to be revealed. The book is writ for certain, but the final chapter is sealed. Even angels long to gaze upon the words inscribed therein, but only God can know what kind of answers lie within. So to understand the future, we must analyze the past and see what path was followed till the present saw you last. And then we draw a line from the remote up to the near to show your life's direction and extrapolate from here. We can see which way you're headed, so we see which way you'll go. We can share with you our findings. If you like, just let us know. Behold, here is the future as it currently appears. We show you now the way you will likely end your earthly years.
appointed treasurer of the Crenshaw Foundation. Are you prepared to give the first financial report? I am, Mr. Chairman, but I have some rather unfortunate news. It seems I made some very regrettable investments in international Port Valley futures with all of the Foundation's funds. Uh, a sudden collapse in the market has reduced the vast Crenshaw financial empire to uh, $234.27. Shame! Shame on you, Mr. Edward. I'm afraid that we'll have to relieve you as treasurer. I move we appoint Mr. Pearson. Oh, All in favor? Aye. So moved. Uh, my first act as treasurer is to move that we disperse the foundation's remaining funds to a uh, Ooh, how about Carol's old psychic advisor, Veronique? <laughs> I move we give all the money to Ms. Veronique. Who's that? Oh, 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 oh. So moved. <laughs> and now that we're all out of money, I hereby declare that this board meeting of the Crenshaw Foundation to be permanently adjourned. <laughs> not be forlorned about the future we present. Tis but one of many, and this path you may prevent. Ask for strength and guidance, for the Holy Spirit pray. You can alter your direction till the final judgment day. Up to now you walked in darkness as a child of the night. Now see what you've been missing when you walk within the light. But, but take heed, without the Christ, Christ child in your life, you, you toil for naught. naught. He paid the ransom for you. With his life, you have been bought. No! Don't leave me, please! Be at peace, my dearest Carol. If you've listened to us well, the story of your life will be much happier to tell. You can see. 
Thank you. 